Professional athletes and celebrities. That's usually who young teens look up to. That's right, but one young man's idol is the host of the PBS home improvement show, This Old House. Fox 13's Amy Nay reports on a very special surprise for this young fan, all thanks to his school and Tom Silva. Hi, Hayden. Hi. Hi. Hey, you wondering what in the world's going on? All right, two. Give that a try, Tom. Close. So yeah, sometimes we'll call him Hayden and he says, no, call me Tom Silva. That's Tom Silva and he wants to talk to Hayden. Tom Silva probably has no idea how much of an impact he's had on a guy and a 13 year old in Utah. That's why administrators at the Kari Sue Hamilton School in Riverton made this video for the host of this old house. We thought we would send a video to Tom just saying thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Never expecting they'd hear back. Is that to you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. From Silva himself. I'm so excited to see what's in this box. Oh my goodness, it was overwhelming, honestly. He was elated. Uh, he was just uh, yeah. bursting with joy as he saw Tom. Hey. He'll say all the time that he wants Tom Silva to say, hi, Hayden. And that was the very first thing he said on that video. Hi, Hayden. I was watching your video where you were organizing all the silverware. Good for you. You have to practice doing that all the time. It's like I practice with my tools. They're tools. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fact that he would take time out of his life uh, to create this video for my son means a lot to me and for my son as well. I think today was maybe a highlight in his life to have Tom Silva actually call him by name. Hi, Aiden. To Hayden, I'm going to put a little note on it for you. What is that? <laughs> he had to process it. It took a minute for him to understand that this really was Tom Silva talking to him directly. A man Hayden idolizes and mom says is responsible for helping her son at school. Every single year I get his IEP and he's made okay progress, but this year he'd made such huge progress and I asked the occupational therapist, what was the change? And they said, oh, we found what works. And what works for him is when he gets to, uh, to shop, they call it a shop, when they get to shop, he has to be called Tom. And he's working in his shop and then he's motivated to do his occupational therapy. And she says help them at home with their online learning. I'd pull out the atlas and say, where are they today? And he'd say, they're in Massachusetts, and we'd find it on the atlas. And dad believes this will only continue to help his son in reaching his goals moving forward. To know that somebody like Tom is rooting for him, I think it'll go a long way. And thanks for being such a big fan, and keep watching. Oh, no. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. Yeah, hey.